what inspires you to keep motivated? You've done it all the way, the charities and the records. I mean, to, to keep motivated to do the next expedition, um, the one that we are planning at the moment is because Mike Stroud, four years ago, heard on the grapevine that the Norwegians were contemplating doing it. Um, but it, and we can't say what it is, because I mean, there could be some Norwegians in here. <laughs> um, yeah, so we started planning it back then, and it's taken four years to get the sponsorship in place to actually do it, and we're not completely ready now, even as, as it is. Um, so, yeah, that is one of the reasons we keep doing things. Um, on That's long term. Short term, if you are um, on an expedition which hasn't been done before, and you're beginning mentally and physically to feel very bad, you've got gangrene, you've got crutch rot and so on, um, your teeth fillings are falling out and all that. So you're in a state where you would like to stop, but you really don't want to stop to be the one that decides to stop. You want one of the other people on the team to be the cause for stopping. So you arrive in the tent at night and you're sort of looking at them, hoping they've broken their leg or something. <laughs> and each has this motivation to keep going, knowing that at some point when their physical ability starts to wane and they need the mental ability to keep going more, they will have different motivational methods. Some of them can keep going just on the strength of their religion. Um, I'm Church of England and got a, you know, a, a belief, but it's not strong enough to deal with crutch rot and gangrene and so on. <laughs> so I therefore picture that my dad and my granddad, I didn't actually ever meet them, but I've heard all about them from my mother, um, are watching. Um, and I don't want to do anything to let them down, so I keep sort of going um, and hope that Mike Stroud will fade. <laughs> <laughs>